Hey everybody. Um, I'm gonna start a little video here. I'm gonna give you a look at my pasture. Problem is I'm over pasturing. I got too many cattle for what I can handle. Uh, fact of the matter is I don't really wanna get rid of any cattle, but I'm gonna have to. But uh, needless to say, you see behind me, uh, I had some, some uh, viewers reach out to me this uh, evasive weed is called yellow crown beard. And uh, probably the only way I'm gonna get rid of it is to spray it. But in the meantime, I don't really wanna spray it because <clears throat> I got my cattle in here. But uh, let's take a look here. We'll walk along and look at it. You can see all down through there, it's taken over. So my plan of action here is probably gas up the old tractor or fuel up the old tractor diesel put the bush hog on and come up, come through and at least cut the tops off to where it don't smother out the grass. And uh, probably pray for some, a little bit of wet weather to uh, try to give this grass a little jump because it is pretty dry. But uh, that's the problem I'm faced with. favorite places on the farm. The place to come watch the sun go down. Sets right over them hills, right through there. Won't be long. <laughs> Here he comes around the bend, slowing down. Just want to praise the Lord for a bountiful day that he has given us. I'm here with some good old friends, putting up a little hay. Good times. Not too bad at him tree out here. I ain't as young as I once was. This young man right here is, though. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to my, my boys there, the Blair family. You know, you go through life, you have a lot of friends, but you have few good friends. And uh, I have to say he's one, for sure. But anyway, we're going to... We're trying to buy up all the hay we can for this winter because we ran out last year. We don't want to do that again. And uh, since we're here looking, check out this little cherry tree. 
almost ripe, but not enough. Just enough to tease us. Thumbs up. <laughs> Go ahead or to Webville, boys. All right, see ya. Okay, I'm uh, watering the uh, the meat birds, the turkeys, and the, the chicks, and I want to talk a little bit about these these water waterers. Okay, this is an older one here. It has one slot cut for the water to come out in this big ring. And it, it works uh, really good, actually, but they go through a lot of water. Okay, I bought another one thinking I was buying one just the same. This one is not. This one has four slots cut, which feeds out more water faster, which is okay. But if this one is not completely level, it will drain this in probably 10 seconds. This one don't have to be level. Put this dip downhill side, and once it fills up, it'll quit feeding out. But not this one. This one will empty out in seconds if it's not completely level. Just a little FYI. Okay. It's already drained down to half, and that's halfway level. I had to prop it up because this chicken tractor is sitting downhill. So it is more level. You know, like I say, when it's when it's level, it works good. I've got two of them in there. I got two feeders. <clears throat> And the tractor needs to move terribly. Okay. I want to say that this feeder here is actually working out really well uh, compared to the other ones we've tried. And I think it has to do with this little spinny deal right here. It's just a, just kind of a nothing fancy. You get it uh, Rural King. I'm sure they sell them other places. I don't even remember the name brand. Right here, I think. Is that a little giant by chance? I believe it is. But anyway, so they don't waste as much. They waste a little bit. But watch here. Watch. It's an ongoing process here. Now they may come around behind it and clean it up, but I doubt it. <laughs> 